Hey, good morning, YouTube. I figured out a way to check the capacity on unmodified Craftsman lithium battery packs. Since I've been having trouble trying to get a reliable way to charge these with my IMAX B6 charger, I found that I could actually run them off my bench supply. Although, looking at this, I actually found, okay, so I had this uh, power supply set to 20.4 volts and about 0 0.6 amps and the just connected directly to the battery I was able to charge this battery which is one of the older C3 extended capacity packs this is the one I rebuilt uh, and this one has shut off it started off taking six tenths and it only took 0 0.003 amp hours and then it, it disconnected so yeah there's uh, these packs are shutting off I might try a little lower current uh, that one was six tenths and I charged this one at four tenths so maybe I'll try that for a, an experiment but uh, the Craftsman charger uses about three amps but yeah that is interesting so even the bench supply uh, can trigger these to shut off so actually that is maybe good because it's a lot easier to uh, check here since I have meters and it's on my bench so at least I can duplicate this uh, shutting off issue and I can yeah be easier to play with so that is interesting I just just hooked that up started off looked like it was gonna work and then it disconnected on me so the charging issues continue you know the strange thing is I can shove this in my craftsman charger and it charges up just fine I guess I can always thought I was seeing an issue between the you know the smart charger inside the IMAX and the you know battery protection circuitry inside the battery pack but uh, it appears to trip up even a simple constant current power supply so yeah so just uh, playing around with this I found my little pull-up resistor trick in the uh, left side uh, terminal seems to do the trick on this battery pack I tried the right side terminal and it shut off again looks like that's the trick in this battery is a little pull-up resistor to um, positive terminal and then there's the built-in pull-down resistor to the negative terminal so that's been going on for a while here we've got a hundred seventy two milliamp hours uh, I think that'll be the first time I've uh, measured capacity on this extended capacity pack this was one of the, <clears throat> one of the dead packs that I purchased off eBay and it wasn't dead We'll see what, what kind of number we get when it finishes here. Yeah, it looks like we're nearing the end of charge. We're down to uh, 60, 70 milliamps. And we've got 2.064 amp hours. And that's with the constant current plus constant voltage charge. Because that's what I wanted to be able to do. I can't do that on the Craftsman charger. Note this number here, the 2.06 amp hours, or that's what, 2,064 milliamp hours. And then I'll, uh, I'll rerun this test next time I run this battery down, and I'll check it in the Craftsman charger, and that way you can see what the difference is on the uh, amp hour rating between the constant current only which is the fast charge mode and the constant current plus constant voltage charge so anyway it looks like this uh, battery is pretty much charged the currents dropping off I can't boost the voltage too much because once I hit uh, you know it's at 20.38 volts the battery protection I see cuts off at 20.5 volts so I want to try to stay under that cutoff voltage so I can run the constant uh, 
voltage charge in there. It won't be quite the same voltage, but uh, you know you got to get get as close close to that uh, 220.5 volt range as you can, and then uh, try to sneak in underneath the battery protection IC. So we'll see. This should be done in just a little bit. I just bumped the uh, bump the voltage up just a bit now. It's reading 20.5 on my bench supply, uh, 20.38 down here. So that's probably about as close as I'm going to get. And I'll just see what the final uh, number is. I'll just write that down on the battery pack and then uh, next time I run this down I will basically hook it up just like this in the Craftsman charger and then uh, get a capacity reading with just the fast charge only and then I can compare it to the slower charge and see see what kind of uh, capacity boost you would uh, gain by doing the constant voltage charging on these so that'll be an interesting thing that was something I, I kinda wanted to figure out because I I'm guessing it's on the order of 10 to 20 percent of the capacity of the battery pack you are not utilizing by not doing the constant voltage charge so I'll see how much uh, capacity Craftsman puts into one of these and then we can compare the two numbers so I'll update you in a probably be a week or two before I run this battery down so I'll I'll remember to uh, charge it and measure the capacity at that time okay we'll catch you later then